Today we're going to demonstrate the V-notch weir. We turn on the pump. We set the bed slope equal to 1% and check the level. The width of the flume is 6 inches. We set the point gauge as 0 at the weir crotch. The head measurement should be taken at a distance L of at least 4 times the hydraulic head H. We try a distance L equal to 150 millimeters or 5.905 inches. The measure hydraulic head is H equal 1.0945 inches, which is less than one fourth of 5.905 inches. The ratio of head to width H over B is equal to 1.0945 over 6 equal 0.18, which is less than 0.2. Therefore, the weir is operating under fully contracted conditions. The discharge through the V-notch weir is The discharge coefficient C sub E is a function of the angle theta of the weir. In this case, for theta equal 90 degrees, the discharge coefficient C sub E is 0 0.578. The head correction K is also a function of the angle theta of the weir. In this case, for theta equal 90 degrees, the head correction K is 0 0.0029. The discharge is given by the following formula. Therefore, the discharge is Q equal 0 0.00672 CFS. The calculation can be performed using the online calculator.